Independent MP Tony Windsor is baiting the Nationals Barnaby Joyce to take him on in his northern New South Wales seat. Senator Joyce is considering running in Mr Windsor's New England electorate at the next election. He wants to reclaim a seat for the Nationals and to make the Independent MP pay for backing the Gillard government's moves to price carbon. From Canberra, he's political reporter Francis Bell. Determined to push through the fog of the carbon pricing debate, Julia Gillard is today chairing another monthly meeting with the Greens and Independents to flesh out the design of her tax. Is that too much water? Enough with the water. Some of the biggest emitters in the coal, gas and steel industries will also get a hearing on Capitol Hill. And of course we'll be working with business and unions to make sure that we're protecting Australian jobs. One job that's been under pressure, at least partly because of his role in the government's climate change committee, is that of independent Tony Windsor. Yeah, let's get the debate on the climate change rather than lies and taxes and that sort of... Do we want to do something about it? Here's our opportunity. If we don't, well, let's join the lemmings and all get off the cliff. His fight to retain his seat at the next election has taken on a new twist. He could be going head-to-head -head with old foe Barnaby Joyce, who wants to move from the Senate to the lower house. It's not new news with Barnaby. He was going to run last time, and then he was going to run in five other seats, and then he didn't run. And, uh, oh, I think he's got to make up his mind. It's reignited speculation over the National Party leadership. Is Tony Abbott going to go to the next election saying to Australians that Barnaby Joyce would be Deputy Prime Minister if Tony Abbott is elected as Prime Minister? That Barnaby Joyce is the man who would act as Prime Minister if Tony Abbott was overseas? The Nationals are desperate to win back the seat of New England 